This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, I love the people in the Shade Room and all these places that defend Christian Rock and her actions and make an excuse for her every time because I'm telling you, we're living in a sick time, right? It's always kind of been like this, but we're living in a sicker time where they want to keep the train moving forward. No backlash. They want to keep this train moving forward for their own entertainment. People love to build people up and and take them down to the ground. And that's what you're going to witness with Christian Rock over the next couple of years. She's only 22, right? So she's there's no fixing this for a while. She's not going to come to a realization until it's too late. Zeus will keep pushing it. Everybody will keep pushing it. So, of course, Blueface's mom used this as an opportunity to say something. She responded to uh, Tamar Braxton's talking about the situation and saying that, you know, she wants justice for her friend because Christian Rock knocks his teeth out, right? She said, BS, she beat up her man's mama. Don't play dumb now. You knew that baby needed help when you brought her there. Your security would be responsible for bringing her there, knowing she's worse than when she started. No, ma'am. She's getting a Power Ranger pass. Uh, If you want to have her help uh, your following... You need proper security and wait till she is healed respectfully. That made no sense. That was from Blueface's mom. Tamar said, I've never met none of these people. Please leave me alone. I'm only here because my brother James got hit in the face for being nice to a guest. He left with a chipped tooth, gun, gum damage, and a busted nose and a concussion. However, I still pray for those who need help. I come in love. God bless everyone. Now, let me skip ahead, right? Let me skip ahead of these because there's some other stuff we got to talk about. But she says, so now y'all want me to address out of work reality stars? Never. Me and my Muppet employed, uh, my Muppet employed will give you on the list of I need a non fighting cokehead for $2,500 an episode for one of these shows of mine I'm casting for. We not the same. Go sell some of your stuff for your next hit. I'm finna come with my next hit. I don't know what she's talking about, but uh, Tamar goes crazy sometimes. Um, And then she says, uh, let's see. Anyways. Let's move on to the next thing. DJ Vlad reacts to Boosie saying he makes 500K a year from Vlad. He says, now that Boosie told the Breakfast Club, we pay him 500,000 a year to be on Vlad TV. All of our regular guests want the same amount, too. So we can't afford to keep the lights on. We had no choice but to start a GoFundMe to avoid closing doors. Even $1 will help. They've raised 10 bucks. Vlad TV needs 500K to get Boosie back. Now, Claudia Jordan, the ultimate Klaus chaser, right? She, you know, embraced little Kim, said something about Foxy. So Foxy, of course, got in her DMs and says, somebody better warn you, you nobody. She says, haha, what you gonna do to me? Fight me like your career has been fighting success as of late? No one is scared of an old girl. Claudia, you're the same age. Now fall back. Claudia Jordan's a loser. I'm just being honest. Feet looking like Doritos. <laughs> Foxy said your feet looking like Doritos. Watch your mouth. And she said, ain't your former rap star, ain't you a former rap star that kept missing uh, her side tooth? Da, 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 da. <sighs> Claudia Jordan better watch out. Uh, Claudia Jordan says, oh, and my toes are fixed? What about your crowns and your bridges? I don't like Claudia Jordan. I default to liking Foxy on this. <laughs> Claudia Jordan's a cloud chaser, nobody. Um, then uh, Tasha K is going a little far with this Will Smith story saying Dwayne Martin, that's that his name, right? The actor. So 
this guy was Will. This guy that she's interviewing was Will Smith's supposedly Will Smith's uh, uh, was his assistant, right? And he walked in on Dwayne Martin giving the business to Will, if you can imagine uh, what that is. So uh, I don't know, Tasha. I wouldn't stop breaking news like that. I would stop that, but. Anyways, uh, we'll see what happens. It's a it's a weird story. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. We all knew Will was a little funny with the uh, way Jada Pinkett's acting with everything. Something's off there. There's been rumors of that in the past. Maybe this confirms them. Maybe it's made up. I have no idea. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Peace.